Okay, for question 5b, again, we've got to find the sum of the following series. For this, you might um, you're probably be more confused by how it looks like, by what it will look like if you need help as opposed to actually doing it. What you've got here, this means you've got 12 times the sum of the first term, so an nth one, right until the nth, t the eighth term, and then your nth term, if you like, is given by 3 to the power of n minus 1. So what this means here is in terms of your formula when you're working out the sum, your first term, if we work that out, n is a 1. This bit here is your nth term, okay? So un is equal to 3n to the power of 1. So if we put in what um, n is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 to the power is 0, so you get 1. So let's just write that down so you can see what I've done. Okay, so that's 3 to the power of 0 equals 1. So that's how I've got um, the first term there. If you need to work out the ratio, all that you need to do is if you understand that this un in general is given by a times r to the power of minus 1, and r un here is given by 3n to the power of 1, if you compare these things, a is actually, it looks like there's nothing, but there is actually a 1 there, um, and r is equal to 3. So we are actually, this confirms this bit, that a was 1, and r is 3, okay? So there's different ways of going about that. Hopefully um, that makes sense if it didn't before. Another way of doing it is you could write down the first few terms just to um, make it clearer to yourself. So you've got the first term was here. So if you now worked out the second term, you've put in n for 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so you'd end up with 3. If you put in the third term, so substitute n for 3, 3 to the power of n minus 1, so you've got 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 squared is 9. So another way you could um, see, you've already got the sequence and the start of it is that. So if you wanted to work out R as well, you can see the second term minus the first term is 3. Anyway, so hopefully um, there's a different methods there, but uh, somehow you've got A is 1 and R is 3. So when you're working out the sum of the sequence for this, the fact there's a 12 here, it literally just means 12 times that. So you want to work out the sum, which is given by A. 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r, which equals ra is equal to 1, and 1 minus r is 3 to the power of n. Well, we're told that there's 8 terms because of this bit here at the top. So, and then we're dividing by 1 minus r, and r was 3. Because here we've got this 12, that just wants us to times this whole thing at the end by 12 as well. So you're sort of working out your answer and then um, times it by 12, okay? So leave that 12 at the front, we'll times it by 12. If you work out this whole thing here, you end up with 3,280, and do that on your calculator, you get 39,360 as your final answer. So we've done that in a bit of a long-winded way, um, but hopefully you're clear, okay?